So when you create a class in Google Classroom, it's going to actually create a calendar for the class as well. So if I'm just going to go to my kind of apps launcher here and choose calendar. So this is the kind of separate app and you'll notice along the side here, all of these, many of these calendars were created through classes that I created in Google Classroom. So it automatically puts that in there. And it's really nice because it's going to keep track of assignments and that sort of thing within the classroom. So they're good to have over here. But as you can tell, even from mine, it starts to build up to a point where it gets a little out of hand. So we can get rid of these over here a couple different ways. So let me just choose one of these. We'll just choose this one. If one of the things I can do is just click on, if I hover my mouse over the uh, class calendar, I can click on this X and it's going to give me kind of a reminder. And it'll say, if you remove this one, you'll no longer have access to this calendar. Other people, however, can still see it. So even though you remove it using the X, your students in the class will still be able to see it. So that's a kind of safe option, not too bad. The other way you can do it is if you click on the little dimples here, you can hide this calendar from this sidebar list. So you'll still be able to find it when you dig deep into your calendars, but it won't be showing up on this list over here. So that's a really kind of easy one. And again, all you need to do is hover your mouse over the, the calendar that you want to hide, and then you click the three dimples over here and you hide from list. Now the third setting is to actually delete the entire calendar, which is going to delete it for everybody. So just to show you again what I did, I'll go back a second. If you hover your mouse on one of the calendars, you can choose the three dimples and you're going to go to settings and sharing. And this is going to bring up the entire calendar. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll say and delete. So when you do that, it will be deleted for not just you, but for everyone. So everybody in the class. Now, again, within Google Classroom, if it's a class that you've had already, it's not going to cause all that much damage if you want to do a complete delete. But um, my recommendation is probably do the easier deletes, either hide that or just uh, delete it for you. Um, that'll make it probably your life the most easiest.